Subclips in Kino are a bit like markers with a bit of special treatment. First let's open the subclips tab on the right hand side, which is currently empty because there are no subclips defined for this clip yet. To define a subclip we need to set in and out point. Now that I have in and out set, I either select create subclip from selection or I just press S. The subclip editor is similar to the marker editor. You can input a name and if you like a description. You can see that a new subclip appeared in the subclips panel. I can now play that clip by double clicking it in the panel. Once you have a number of subclips defined, you can of course use them to selectively playback parts of your clip, but what's even more useful, you can export these parts into their own files. You can do this for all subclips in the export menu. This opens the conversion dialog you already know from the conversions tutorial. You can also do this for selected clips using the context menu in the subclips panel. Typical uses of this are when you have a lot of unusable material in your clip, which is very often the case for mounted cameras like GoPros or fixed cameras at an event. You don't want to import 90% crap into your Final Cut or Premiere project. For many formats you can extract the clips even without re-encoding, so this is fast and very economical with regard to disk space, depending on the format. Another use is exporting loops for your DVD or Blu-ray menus. It's very easy to preview the result by setting the player to loop mode and double clicking the subclip. Find out what your favorite uses of Kino's subclipping are and let us know.